Today, we're announcing Alpamayo, the world's first thinking, reasoning, autonomous vehicle AI. Alpamayo is trained end to end, literally from camera in to actuation out. The camera in, lots and lots of miles that are driven by itself, where we human drive it, driven, using human demonstration. And we have lots and lots of miles that are generated by Cosmos. In addition to that, hundreds of thousands of examples are labeled very, very carefully so that we could teach the car how to drive. This is a Ruben Pod, 1,152 GPUs in 16 racks. Each one of the racks, as you know, has uh, 72 Vera Rubin, or 72 Rubens. Each one of the Rubens is two actual GPU dies connected together. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna show it to you. But there are several things that, well, I'll tell you later. I can't tell you everything right away. Well, we designed six different chips. First of all, we have a rule inside our company, and it's a good rule. No new generation should have more than one or two chips change. But the problem is this. As you could see, we were describing the total number of transistors in each one of the chips that were being described, and we know that Moore's law has largely slowed. And so the number of transistors we can get year after year after year can't possibly keep up with the 10 times larger models. It can't possibly keep up with five times per year more tokens generated. It can't possibly keep up with the fact that cost decline of the tokens are going to be so aggressive. It is impossible to keep up with those kind of rates if the for the industry to continue to advance unless we deployed aggressive, extreme co-design, basically innovating across all of the chips, across the entire stack, all at the same time, which is the reason why we decided that this generation, we had no choice but to design every chip over again. Now, every single chip that we were describing just now can be a press conference in all in itself. And there's an entire company who's probably dedicated to doing that back in the old days. Each one of them are completely revolutionary and the best of its kind. The Vera CPU, I'm so proud of it. In a power constrained world, gray CPU is two times the performance in a power constrained world. It's twice the performance per watt of the world's most advanced CPUs.